This week's Torah portion, Parshat Kitisa, is chock full of fascinating events, important historical moments in the Torah. Uh, there's the worship of the golden calf, Moshe's reaction, coming down, seeing the golden calf and smashing the tablets that he had just received for 40 days on Mount Sinai. And God is upset with the actions of the Israelites and wants to destroy the people. And Moshe argues on their behalf not to uh, destroy them. Part of Moshe's process of pleading to God uh, is, uh, introduces us to what are called the Yud Gimel Midot, the 13 uh, character traits of God, which are associated with God's mercy. We learn them here. Uh, Moshe invokes them in his prayers, and they are, have become an important part of Jewish liturgy. We uh, recite them in Torah reading on fast days. We recite them uh, during holidays and the high holidays. Um, and here we are in Exodus chapter 34, verse 6. Vayivor Hashem al, al panav, God passed before Moshe. Vayikra, and Moshe called out, Hashem, Hashem. God, God, that's with the four-letter Yud, uh, Yud Hey Vav Hey name of God, Kel Rachum Vechanun, God the merciful and the gracious, Erech Apaim Varav Chesed Veemet, God who is, um, God who withholds God's anger, uh, and is great in kindness and truth, and it, the words go on Notzer Chesed La Alafim Nosei Avon Vefesha Vachata Benake. Okay, what we're going to look at is the very first two words, the first two of the Yud Gimel Midot, the, of the 13 aspects of God's mercy, and that is really, I said it's two words, but it's really the same word twice. It's Hashem, Hashem. So it's the same word, and listen to what Rashi says about this word twice, the name of God. Midat Rachamim He. This is the aspect of God's mercy. Achat kodem shiechte, one of the names of God is before a person sins, v'achat la'achar shiechte v'yashuv. And the second name of God is also God's attribute of mercy after a person sins and then does tshuva. This is taken from the Gemara in Masechet Rosh Hashanah, Daf Yud Zion. Okay, the Maharal, Gur Aryeh, on this verse, asks a really important and good question and solves it in a really, I think, um, fascinating and insightful way. So that's what we're going to look at. V'im tomar, and if you will say, Bishlama b'midot ha'acherot el erech If you want to say that, okay, I get that the other of the yud gimel midot, of the 13 attributes of God, which use different words and different names, yesh chiluk b'shemot, there's Different words. And therefore, it makes sense that each of the different ones of the 13 Yud Gimel Midot means something else. We learn something different about God's mercy. Aval Khan, but here, Dishnei Shemotem. Here, the one name of God is said twice. How are we going to make a distinction between them. Lomar ki Hashem acharon yoter midat rachem imen arishon. So how do you want it? So the same word, Hashem, said twice, Rashi, based on the Gemara, is defining them as one is the mercy that God has for a person before they sin, and the other is the mercy God has for a person after they sin. So this doesn't make sense on several levels. One major one that the Gur Aryeh calling out here is the same word is said twice. How are you going to learn out different aspects from that same word? The rest of the Yud Gimel Midot, of the 13 character traits, are different words, so they mean different things. Same word, you're going to say, means God relates to me through this one aspect of God's self before I sin, and then the same way after I sin, using the same name of God, it doesn't make sense. Ve'ani Omer, this is what I say, says the, the Maharal. There really is a distinction here. Here is how we can understand it. God never changes. 
כי אף אם חטא האדם נגדו, עדיין הוא ברחמים. For even if a person sins against God, God still has mercy towards them. לא כי בשר ודם. This is unlike a human. כאשר חברו חטא נגדו, when a person, when a person's friend sins against them, נתרחק דעתו. Then now I feel negatively towards them. ושוב לא יקבלו. And I don't want to be around them. I don't want to accept them again. אבל השם יתברך אביאתו נצחית. But God's essence is eternal. ואף אחר שחטא הוא ברחמים. And even once a person sins, God relates to them in the same way, through mercy. לפיכך השם, השני, the second name of God, שהוא שם הוויה, God's same name of יוד ה' ו' ה', פירושו אשר הביאתו נצחית. So we understand the reason it's doubled is to show, it's specifically to show its eternality. אף אם חטא ועשה תשובה מרחמים עליו. That even if he should sin, sin, God still has mercy towards him. So the question was, how can we learn these two different aspects of God's mercy from the same name? And the Maharal's answer is, exactly because of the fact that for every other, for people, once a person sins, your feeling towards them changes. And specifically the fact that it's the same name of God repeating, that does teach us something new. Okay, I relate to you one way before you sin, and for humans, once you do something, I change my feelings towards you. But for God, the name remains the same. Meaning that exactly teaches us what's unique about God, that God still feels the same way about us. Even after we sin, God wants to bestow goodness and rachamim, mercy, compassion into this world. And it's our job as people who try to model ourselves after godly behavior to help build a world and uh, uphold a world filled with mercy and compassion towards ourselves and to everyone. This is one of the things we learn from the Yud Gimel Midot, the 13 attributes of God's mercy here in Parshat Kitisa. Always a pleasure learning with you. More next week.